Monday? Uh, that's that's the goal as of now. I would like to be back. I think the guys would like me back. Luke, um, I would hope, would like me back. But uh, you know, today was a good step forward, and um, we'll know more after tomorrow. How did you, how was today? I felt great. I did everything. Uh, we full contact. It was a, probably one of our better, longest, hardest practices of the year, and uh, I felt great. Did did uh, did every drill, competed in every minute of it. It's uh, it's great. Um, it's great. There's nothing that can happen to it now. Are you gonna wear the wrap if you were to play? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the wrap will be there for a little while. Just more so as a mental thing. At this point, you don't feel anything. With it? No, honestly, I. Uh, at practice, there was one time I had uh, Marco was on the sidelines making sure I didn't do anything dumb. And uh, there was one time I, I dunked and kind of hung on the rim a little bit and had to remind myself, like, oh, like I, that's not all right. It didn't hurt, but it was like I had to pull myself back from doing too much. So there's no pain. Do you have a set of plays where you have blocks, where your hand kind of goes forward, back and forth? Absolutely. Yeah, the hand, uh, deflecting a pass, getting a block shot, whatever it may be, it, it happens. But, I mean, it, it, my hand's fine. It doesn't hurt. It's just one of those things where, like, you it hits and you realize, like, it didn't hurt. You know, it was a pretty cool feeling. Uh, two-handed, and I just kind of hung on the rim two-handed, but um, had to make sure the ball was out, wasn't underneath my feet first. I wonder if that would change the time. It's an on-shooting hand, but you just kind of use your left hand so much. Definitely. Does that impact the way you play? Does that impact? Um, not, not, not really. You know, uh, you know, kind of in Portland. Once they said, once they said four to six weeks, it was that wasn't my plan. So I'm uh, hopefully I'm, I'm hopeful Monday. But if not, we're still under four weeks. Did four to six ever really feel realistic? No, no, um, no. Honestly, I was I was pulling and begging for two and a half weeks. But uh, these guys pulled me back a little bit, and uh, I'm thankful they did because I feel I feel great today. Are you usually a pretty bad keeper? Um. I've never had a hand injury before, so I don't know. Um, but I mean, this was this was pretty quick. You know, it's, it seems crazy that like, uh, you know, kind of like a week after surgery, a week and a half after surgery, I was palming a basketball. It's pretty cool. Um, you know, kind of speaks to the, the excellent job the surgeon did. Three days, three days, and then uh, went into like one of these, like a splint. Um, that's, I have no idea. Um, that's, I have no idea. I've been, um, I almost been working out harder injured than I, than I was playing, you know, making sure I stay in shape, uh, you know, treadmill work, weight room work, just whatever I could to, uh, make sure that if this first game back, he needed to throw me in there for 48, he can do that. But, you know, that's, that's Luke's call at the end of the day. Sometimes when you're sitting out, you notice things that you don't notice while you're playing. Did you notice, what did you, what were your takeaways of how the team played for you? Um, Geez, I think uh, I think the obvious was was we were we were scoring the heck out of the ball. Um, you know, Kuz was outstanding, Julius was outstanding, Bi had a heck of a rhythm going. Um, you know, we had you know, and, and, and different guys were just stepping up at different times. So I thought I thought offensively we looked we looked awesome. Uh, weak weak use. You know, I think I think I'll help on the rebounding end a little bit and uh, you know get our defense back to where it once was. But um, you know, I thought overall we looked we looked pretty good. How would you feel if uh, when you came back and you were kind of coming up for a while? Because Kuz has been playing really well. Kuz has been happy. playing awesome. Um, that's, like I said before, that's Luke's decision. And, uh, you know, Kuz, Kuz is my guy. You know, so whether he starts, I start, it doesn't matter. Um, it's not like it's not going to cause any kind of rift. I'm not going to, you know, be upset about it or anything like that. It's just um, something that he's competing for, I'm competing for. And, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever Luke decides, whatever helps us win. And I think that's the page we're both on. Yeah. Um. I mean, th there's there's such a difference between game playing shape and and workout shape. So yeah, there's there's been a little bit of a drop off, and that's that's unavoidable. But um, you know, the more one or two games, and I'll be back to the back to the top of the ranks you know that's something that I pride myself on is being able to run and run and run and bring the energy for the guys so um, whether it's this first game or the next game I'll, I'll, I'll be back up there. If you were at this position would you try and ease yourself back in or do you think he'll be back and kind of go back to the other way so you guys kind of have 
If I was in Luke's position, I would I would start me a point guard and and uh, and, and and one, two, three, four, and five. I'd play all 40, 48 minutes. Uh, no, you know what? Um, I'd use me where I'd use me where you know you think it would help. If that's with the first unit, then great. If that's with the second unit, great. If that's you know for the first little bit, if if, if these guys are rolling, let them roll. You know, I'll, I'll sit and watch and be the best teammate ever. But wherever he thinks he can use me at, I'll be happy to play. Basically, you would clone yourself into all five. Teams. Exactly. That's what I would do. I would uh, take my coaching contract, stick it into the cloning research, and then just make 11 Larry Nances. We wouldn't shoot very well, but we'd be a heck of a rebounding and dunking team. <laughs>